Like if you pray for patience, God's not going to give you patience. He's just going to give you the ability to be patient, <laughs> which can be frustrating, right? Like if you pray for patience, but in turn, what God gave me was this, the ability to be patient, which is not easy because you're impatient. So it gives you the ability to form that patience over time. So if you want to start a new habit or develop a value, just like patience, like I want to have a habit of patience, but that's like a core value. How do you remind yourself in the heat of the moment to practice that new habit? So I'm an impatient person. I want to become more patient but I can literally feel my blood rising in the heat of a moment. But how do I remind myself to make that decision to practice more patience? So patience being the example for this is like the most difficult one probably. Um, Cause what's that phrase? Like if you pray for patience, God's gonna give you the opportunity to be patient, which is frustrating. Cause you're like, well, I just want to be patient. And you're like, no, you're gonna have to I'm going to give you a situation where you're going to have to be patient, but not give you patience. And that's where you, that's ultimately it's in that process that you develop patience, which is frustrating. Um, but I think a lot of it has to do with just like taking a breath and stepping back from the situation. But you can feel it when that's happening and to not allow that to bubble up to the surface, just taking a step back, you know, taking a minute just to kind of like get away from the situation, um, breathe, and then reapproach it with, you know, a better mindset, I think. Um, but that doesn't mean that, that it's not, you know, a difficult process to do, uh, especially if that's something that's been away for a long time. Like, I'm, man, I'm, I've always been an impatient person. That being said, that very phrase that I just said, I've, I've, I'm always so impatient. I'm always so impatient. The more you tell yourself that, the less of a chance patience is going to automatically appear in your life. Like this goes back to law of attraction. Like if you say, man, I always am impatient, then you're telling yourself, like you're reinforcing that behavior. So what would happen if in those situations or on a regular basis, you started telling yourself, man, I'm, I'm so patient. I have so much more patience than I used to have. Like I'm responding um, more rationally based off of, you know, this patience that I now have. Would it possibly create a situation where you became more patient? More than likely. Um, at the very least, it would put that thought in the front of your head when you're in those situations like, no, no, no. I'm a patient person. So I'm not gonna react that way. I'm going to be more rational, I'm going to take a second, I'm going to breathe, I'm going to think about this and then respond. But when you're in a situation and you feel, it, you feel it happening and then you reinforce it with I'm always impatient, it's just the recipe for disaster. And so I think you have to audit the things that you say to yourself and how you say them to yourself and, um, and just understand that there's way more power in that than you probably realize.